Seoul Station in the heart of the city. We all know it, from here you can easily access faraway places in Korea. But this station has two exits, the eastern and western side. If you exit the station on the eastern side, you see a scenery of modernity and development. But if you exit through the west side, you see a neighborhood that's slightly more underdeveloped and retains the industrial past of Korea. That's the neighborhood we're gonna explore today, Sogedong. And together with... Hello. Sokyodong is an interesting neighborhood as it has a rather unlucky charm to it. We'll get more into that later. But to give you a hint, Sokyodong was cut off from downtown Seoul by the railroad. Now, exit Seoul Station through the West Gate and your eyes will fall on something red. Something very red. That's where our journey begins. If you cross the street from the station, you will notice a large red remarkable building. It's a national theater company of Korea. Do you like the building? Uh. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. Yeah, it was shocking in the beginning. Now I kind of like it. Yeah, it takes some time to get used to it. Yeah. 안녕하세요. Oh. 안녕하세요. <laughs> You're working in the theater, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so today, can you show us around? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what you're doing? Oh, okay. Okay, you're doing it. Oh, okay. 여기 뭐가 있었어요? 아, 여기는 원래 그 문체부가 매입한다는 국방부에서 운영했던 수송 차량 기지 같은 거 여기가 다 군용 트럭이 주차하는 곳이었어요. Oh, so this was a military area. Yeah. Ah. Even after building this theater, it was not on the map for a while. So I even heard that um, some packages didn't come here. The theater is named after two famous Korean theater actors, Baek Seung-hee and Jang Min-ho. Baek Seung-hee 선생님은 이제 음원 여자, Jang Min-ho 선생님은 남자. 네. 이곳인데 두분 두고세요. 한국을 대표하는 엄청 유명한 연극인이고 마릴린 먼로가 내한 왔을 때 또 만나셨던 분이 Baek Seung-hee 선생님 <laughs> so we're now going to the rooftop of the big red building. Oh, it is nice. Oh, we can go up even further. Oh, yes. Namzan Tower, Seoul Station. So usually I would recommend rooftops. I'm not sure if I can recommend this one because I don't think it's allowed to go up if you don't work here. But it's nice, the view is great. Unlike the front of Seoul Station, where large buildings rise high, Sogedong is friendly with small buildings. The reason is that the Defense Security Command, which has been here for 30 years since 1981, put a height restriction on surrounding buildings. But the real question we all have is, why red? <laughs> The theater will disappear next year, so please come while you still can. Bye bye, and you see you. Bye. <laughs> so why did you choose to move to Sogedong? Because Sogedong has really good transportation. That was the biggest reason. So you can go anywhere from Seoul Station. There are many buses. Of course, like Subway. Seoul is an artist, and she has her studio inside her home, where she expresses her creativity. Inside the building, I also saw a sewing factory on the first floor. Typical for this neighborhood, but maybe not for long. But it's closed today. We will show more of this later in the neighborhood. So next we're going to show you a really interesting place. I can already see it in front of me. It's a building that's over 100 years old and holds a an old Pioni jump. Yes, Kemi Super is a landmark in Sogedong. With the building being over 100 uh, years exactly. old and a very sweet and kind owner. So too bad we cannot talk to the owner in front of the camera because she doesn't want her face in, in the camera. I think people have been filming here too much lately, but interesting place. So <laughs> she is like one Jong Sogedong said I'm 
왜냐면 this is a store and the current owner used to live on the second floor he, the second floor right yeah she was born there oh, she was born there and then her great great grandfather used to live in uh, Ilshi Konmu somewhere over there and now she lives next to the supermarket and she owns the place now but basically she never left the place and she's still here too bad she doesn't want to be in the camera <laughs> if the Ichung is a dance studio then how do you dance it looks really small <laughs> its success was always related to the surrounding sewing factories the employees of the sewing factories were customers of the store but in the 2000s the sewing industry declined and store sales plunged. However, as foreigners began to visit in 2015, she began to take pictures and put them on the walls, creating a new culture and bringing new business. But interesting person, so if you come here, make sure you buy something and uh, feel free to talk to her. She likes yes. to talk about uh, the history and everything. So what's for lunch? There are three places and Jeonju Sikdang is our favorite because she said I'm pretty. restaurants can easily be found near small and medium-sized industries like sewing factories, and they are affordable. And I guess because customers come regularly, rice and side dishes are often served differently. It reminds me a lot of my family in-laws home cooked meals. Bagban is only 7,000. Yeah, it, it used to be 6,000. What? Bagban and what you can do, what you can do, what you can do. 백반 말고 다른 거 시키면 별로 안 좋아하세요. 매일 네, 다른 네. 메뉴를 파시잖아요. 백반은. 그렇죠. 네, 우리가 그냥 하는 거죠. 아 그냥 어떻게 선택을 하세요? 그거를 선. 그 뭐, 내일은 뭘 할까? 네네. 오면은 뭐 발전 시험 조사 같은 거 해갖고 하죠. 아 그러세요? 아, 아, 네. 뭐 먹고 신경 물어보셔서. 물자, 물가. 아 물자. 아, 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 7,000원짜리. You really don't find any apartment buildings in Sokyo Dome? Not yet. Ah, this is one of the sewing factories. Oh, I see you. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of I don't know <laughs> uh, there used to be 2,000 to 2,500 sewing factories near here. 2,500? Not, not only in Sogedo, but uh -huh. there are uh, sewing factory villages. In 2015, they had 2,000, but in 2017, they only had 1,500. Uh -huh. So now, probably much Even less. less. She said there's no much work anymore. And also, I think because of Seollo. Seollo used to be an overpass, but they couldn't use it anymore because the life of life of it was expected to end in, at the end of 2015, so they couldn't use it anymore because of high, high risk, it just collapsed. Ah. So the former mayor, Park won -sun, turned it into a park instead. But the workers of sewing factories, they didn't want that. They wanted a new alternative Road. There are many factories because it's really easy to go to Dandem market yeah. with that road. Because of the overpass. Yeah. So that, that impacted the business yeah. of the sewing factories. The overpass, constructed in 1970, connected the east and west of Seoul over the railroad. Then it expired and they turned into Seoul Lo 7017, a sky garden for pedestrians. Apparently, it was designed by the Dutch firm NVRDV, and 17 refers to the opening year 2017 and the number of walkways connected to it. Where <laughs> 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 <laughs>
그러니까 예전에는 막 여기서 그냥 대낮에 칼부림이 일어나기도 하고 네, 막 그런 사건들이 일어났던 곳이었는데 그래서 저는 되게 무서운 동네인 줄 알고 저도 여기 안 오려고 했는데 막 이렇게 집을 돌아보고 발품 팔아보고 알아보니까 어, 이 집이 되게 싸고 되게 조용하고 서울역으로 가까운 거 그래서 이제 여기로 살게 됐었고 한 1년 넘게 한 2년 가까이 살았던 것 같아요 Going further west, we stumbled upon a construction that did feel a bit rough around the edges. A grey concrete construction with a small industry. I think at the bottom floor is just a parking, but on the second, third and fourth floor, there are mini factories. I couldn't figure out how old or what the initial purpose was of this building, but it's not in the best condition anymore. See, so certain things are already empty. In the building next door is the Manle Sijang. An old Korean traditional market from the 60s that feels like a time machine. Even more so the street that bends around the building. This street has the vibe of a lovely downtown country village. Yeah, this street is awesome. The shops, old as they are, haven't aged. The local town bus racing on and off, it feels friendly. It was also selected as all future heritage. But my favorite place in the Manly market is by far Just the rooftop overseeing everything and an excellent moment to talk more about Sogedong's unlucky charm and some history. Seoul-yo um, used to be Gyeongseong-yo. It was a transit station rather than a terminal station. The railroad divided downtown Seoul into two. That's why Sogedong and Cheongha-dong were cut off from the downtown Seoul even though it's in, right in the middle of the city. So you can see the impact of building a train station or railroad and mm. how it can cut off and change the, how do you say that, the urban spatial yeah. organization of everything. I think Sogedong, which is one of those Bulsang, Bulsang. Bulsang neighborhoods. Seoul-yo부터 이렇게 쭉 이어져서 삼각지까지 이어지는데 시청 광화문을 중심으로 해서 길이 이렇게 쭉나 있어요. 용산 쪽에 있는 한강 건너가 대로까지. 근데 예전에는 거기가 왜 이렇게 길이 쭉나 있냐면은 예전에는 그 거기를 통해서 시장을 왔다 갔다 했다고 하더라고요. 음. 그래서 한강을 타고 들어와서 배로 물건을 싣고 와서 여기서 물건을 내리고 쭉 뚫린 길로 광화문에 있는 시장까지 쭉 배송을 했고 이제 거기 사람들이 똥을 받아가서 다시 가져가는 거예요. 음. 그래서 다시 똥을 다시 배에 싣고 돌아가서 똥으로 이제 농사를 짓고 다시 그거를 작물이 나오면 다시 또 일로 갖고 오고 그래서 그길 따라서 철로가 똑같이 이렇게 음. 나 있는 거예요. 그래서 예전에는 그 기, 철로가 그러니까 이 역이 그냥 통과하는 역이었대요. 음, 그래. 그러니까 사람이 멈추는 역이 아니에요. 네, 그래서 음. 더 단절된 감이 있죠. 그때부터. 원래 예전에는 상하수도가 잘안돼 있을 때는 높은 지역에다가 건물을 많이 지었는데 이제 이쪽은 상대적으로 되게 낮은 지역이다 보니까 그래서 후하, 부하 저쪽에 건너편에 있는 후암동이 훨씬 더잘 사는 동네고 여기는 못 사는 동네로 그냥 이렇게 계속 있는 거죠. 음. 네, 그래서 지금의 이제는 다시 거기가 잘 사는 동네로 먼저 개발이 되고 지금은 여기가 못 사는 동네였는데 이제 여기가 재개발이 되면 다시 여기가 또잘 사는 동네가 되고 더 어. 거긴 더덜못 못 사는 동네가 이렇게 상대적으로 또 바뀌겠죠 그런 과정이 있는 것 같아요 우리나라 부동산에서 못 사는 동네에 대한 잘 사는 동네가 되고 잘 사는 동네가 상대적으로 또못 사는 동네가 되고 왔다 갔다 왔다 갔다 하는 So Sogidong is a nice little neighborhood with a rather unlucky story Cut off from downtown Seoul by the railroad and the end of the overpass connecting east and west but it's worth a visit. Like the Pet Shop Boys saying, go west, when you're Seoul Station. Thank you for watching. Haru. Thank you for watching. See you in the next dong. Haru. Haru. <laughs>